Well, hello there, people. Hunter Spoke Riders here again. Yeah, what you're seeing is correct. Got two of the wheels back off. I'm back at it again. Coming to you with a little update. Well, I'm out here early this Sunday morning trying to get in before it uh, starts getting hot. Uh, I was out here as soon as the sun was barely creeping up over the wall. And I'm back at it again. Let me tell you, let me explain to you uh, what's going on. It was on. brought to my attention that these right here, when I did these back brake calibers, uh, I took a picture of it. And I usually don't do a lot of pictures, but I've here recently started uh, taking pictures again. So I can post pictures on uh, certain things, certain forums. And just by looking at the pictures, a couple guys told me on the forum that, hey, uh, your pins, them two pins sticking out of your caliber ain't supposed to be, they're supposed to be inside. They're not supposed to be sticking out like that. It's going to require me to take this caliber off so I can put these pins. I tried to get them in there without taking the caliber off, and it just ain't happening. So I got uh, to have to take these caliber, I have to take this caliber off in order to get these pins in the right way. And it's got me really thinking. I was driving a car all week just thinking, man, I got to do this because maybe that's what, I mean, my brakes, the cars always stop, but maybe it'll stop better, you know, now that I, if I mount these in the right way. Uh, these were like this when I got the car, so I didn't really think nothing of it. Whoever had this car before me, and whoever worked on this car before me, uh, didn't put them in the right way. I had two pins sticking out one side, and this pin sticking out the other side. I decided since I'm going to have the caliber off anyway, I might as well take this opportunity to actually paint this edge of the the paint this edge of the disc brakes. Now I didn't do this before because I didn't realize it would show that much through the rim. But after I got the wheels back on, I realized oh this part shows. That was the last little piece of rusty part that I had left on this whole set. Yeah, if you're wondering what that cereal box is, I just taped this front part of it and my plan is I'm gonna hold this back here like this you feel me so paint doesn't get on the back side of the disc and then paint that little edge so that's gonna be the game plan um, I got the caliber off and it's all kinda hung up there the reason why it's hung up there with two wires like this uh, because I wanted to keep the pads in place. I did this last night actually and I knew I was gonna leave it overnight like this So I just kind of Left it dangling here like this with the wires. So there's no stress on the brake I cable. paint that edge, you know, just a little fine details a little fine details Now everybody I showed the car to the group the blue calibers. They you know They loved it. They didn't even see it, but I could see it. You know, I know it's there once again every time I looked uh, that's the main thing I seen was that uh, I missed that little edge right there. That edge is still rusty. I should have did that. So, in order to get it the way I really want it, you gotta, uh, you know, put in that work. All right. Uh, let me kind of explain what's really going on. Um, some may say I'm doing a little bit too much for an everyday driver, but. For me, I just, you know, it's just one of them things where it's the little stuff that bothers me. But before I get to that, let me explain to you why I'm going through all this trouble. Um, once, once I painted everything, you know, and you know, I got everything, all the frame and the wheel wells done, you know, the blue. I tried to do everything all in one weekend. I was just in a rush and the blue didn't really turn out the way I really wanted it to. Uh, the calibers themselves looks good, but the parts that bothered me was how this edge right here, uh, some of it was still rusty, some of it got paint. Uh, that right there just kind of stood out to me. and. This little edge right here, 
these two little edges, the top edge and the bottom edge, were still kind of rusty. And the reason why I didn't do these edges is because when I taped this part of the disc, uh, because I still had the calibers and the pad and stuff all in, I couldn't spin it. You feel me? Or I didn't really want to paint this whole section and have the the part where the calibers were at. I couldn't get to that. And I, if I taped it up, I couldn't spin it because the tape would catch on the pads and it would just basically tear the tape off. So that's why I didn't really do that the first time. And I, by the time, I was just so, you know, I did so much that weekend, I was just said to hell with it. I was running out of time and just put it all back together. You know, everybody that looked at the car was like, oh, yeah, the brake calibers, oh, they're so nice, you know, and oh, they look way better with the. He painted it all black, you know. But every time, all week, every time I looked at the car, uh, the only thing I could see was, damn, I still got rusty right here. <laughs> and I still got rusty, rusty right here. So, although I won't be doing the front this weekend because I just don't have the time. And I really didn't really want to do the back, but... Once it was brought to my attention that them pins weren't supposed to be sticking out the back of my uh, brake caliber, I said, well, I definitely have to fix that this weekend. In order to push them back in, I knew I had to take the brake calibers off. So I said, well, if I'm going to do all that, and I can uh, now I can spin this freely and it has a little room to play with, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint my outer edge. And see, the inner edge, now the inner edge is a little tricky. Um, the, I didn't want to tape, so I did the outer edge, you know, I just put the tape over it and then kind of cut the tape off. That's how I did the outer edge. But then once I peeled the uh, tape back, all I could see was the little rusty inner edge right here. Well, I, I didn't really want to retape it because I didn't want to have to try to cut it with a Zacto knife. I didn't want to, you know risk cutting the groove into the actual disc itself. So what I end up doing is not really the proper way to do it, but seeing my time restraints, I just pretty much uh, took this old cereal box. I was using that at first to hold, you know, like I said earlier, to hold the back of there. I had to only tape one side of the disc. So what I did was I used this old cereal box. I took the duplicolor paint and sprayed it in one spot, made it all runny, you know, just kept held it in the one spot on the box, and then took this sponge brush, dabbed it in the paint, and just, you know, set it down here like this and went along the edge of it. Now, that edge is not perfect. It's uh, definitely nowhere, you know, definitely nothing like a pinstripe edge. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not a perfect edge, but once I put everything back together and the pads clamp down on it, it'll all that excess and the spots where I went too far, it'll just take it all off. And in the end, I should have just a perfect blue ring. That's what's going on. I will say I'm still using the same kind of Duplicolor caliber paint that I started with. And just now it started sputtering. I mean, just now it started sputtering. So it definitely, uh, this caliber paint in the can definitely goes, one can goes a long way. But I got two more cans to fall back on, so I'm not really worried about it. No more pins hanging out the back of the calibers. So I got that, uh, got that side done. And got this side done over here, so everything is back the way it's supposed to be. So there you have it, people. All that's left to do now is slap the wheels back on, take it for a test spin. And then uh, see how it stops after that. See if it stops any different. Making sure everything is cool. I don't usually listen to music when I'm going on a test ride, just in case I can hear if something's going on. But uh, 
so far, so good. Everything feels pretty much normal. Oh yeah. The brakes do feel a little bit, I, I ain't gonna say it's not a huge difference, but it is a slight difference. You can definitely feel the slight difference. There you have it, people. Uh, all in all, I think I'm happy for what I got accomplished this weekend. See, I really didn't want to do anything at all. Oh, shit, I got a lizard. There's the, pretty much there's the outcome of it. Uh, just as I expected. When I hit the brakes, uh, that little line right there, now it's just like a perfect little tiny, I mean, just might be one millimeter size uh, pinstripe in blue. So I ain't gotta worry about uh, seeing that little rust line anymore. And got rid of that rust edge at the top. And now the back is pretty much uh, exactly how I want it. So, I'm happy with it. Got the back done. I'll do the front next weekend. So there's the overall side uh, shot of the old uh, 96 Caprice sitting on the 22 inch IROX. Alright, the sun is starting to come out. Uh, luckily, all this morning it was kind of cloudy. So I did catch a break there, but. Now the sun's coming out, it's starting to get a little bit more hotter. I think I'm done. I'm about to jump in the shower, change my clothes, and uh, head to a few spots, see if I can find some more CDs to add to my collection. All right, y'all. Uh, Hunter Spoke Brothers, signing out with the pins inside of my brake cowboys in the back. <laughs>